okay so on the ordering tab here we have order grace right now I'm gonna do this box whenever I'm explaining every single thing what is order grace so order grace is the number of days to allow for payment of an order before being overdue so for example if you set it to three days and the client purchased it today so um, we are giving the client three days for him or her to make the payment so the invoice is not overdue not after the three days of grace period we set here if we set it three now the number of days is zero so we don't giving them any uh, grace um, to make a payment so I recommend just leave it as it is okay but that's that so uh, what it comes um, in the end is when clients are not paying um, their payment usually when you want to put a fine like a 10% fine then this will come into a roll the day uh, the grace period if you're not like fining people or clients for late payment so don't even bother setting that it doesn't um, um, really matter right so the second part is the order form template so I recommend you to use um, the default which is web 20 card that's the best way so let's uh, use that for your business and I'm going to use this for mine as well now the third part here is accept terms of service so you have to have a good terms of service written okay now on this project 1000 um, program I'm giving you a um, set of resources including the terms of service template and privacy policy which you can use for your own business okay so um, um, this will protect you protect your business from um, future cases which you don't want to hurt your business okay so make sure you have a good solid terms of service before you launch your um, surface and, and accept clients so we're gonna tick that okay so we're gonna uh, use a term of service and I'm gonna tick that and I'm gonna use um, my URL of course at HTTP eatmemo.com slash term of surface so you can uh, use your own file name you want to use terms.html it doesn't really matter okay so that's that now let's move forward um, I'm gonna use for the auto redirect on checkout here because I'm gonna recommend and I'm gonna use myself I'm gonna use PayPal for my clients to make payments so I want it to automatically forward the user to the payment gateway okay so I'm gonna I want this one here so when they're about to make payment I want them to automatically be redirected to the PayPal site so they can make the payment instead of the invoice page so I'm gonna choose that okay I'm gonna choose this one here and okay let's move forward to the next part allow notes on checkout sure we can allow notes on checkout so um, if the client want to pass on notes on the order form for example um, whatever they want to send a message to you they can type it in so leave, leave that checked monthly pricing breakdown what is this let me explain it to you now tick this box to enable monthly pricing breakdown for recurring terms on the order form so for example you have set up three hosting plans right and you decide to have um, different monthly payment and annual payment so 
if you choose to tick this box your clients will see the monthly pricing breakdown for the annual payment for example you choose sixty dollars a year for one of your hosting plan if you tick, tick this box it'll show uh, the client on your sign up form it'll show like five dollars a month if you don't tick this box it'll only show you sixty dollars per year so they have to figure it out themselves so it's up to you but I always uh, want to make things clear for our customers or our clients so let's not make things vague okay let's make things clear so I'm gonna use and I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna tick this okay I'm gonna enable it 